everyone how to turn your joint limits off. Now this is somewhat important to me because this has to do with animation. So it uh, can be pretty important to know how to effectively turn off your joint limits. And I'll give you a quick uh, example here. Genesis and I have some meditate animations. If you look on the right side, you can see these are different poses. If I click on one of them, and let's uh, zoom in on the character here, you'll see that the legs aren't quite right because the legs have limits on them that prevent them from going into the pose that I need it to. There's a number of different settings you can play with and different uh, things in different spots that say that they turn off limits, but a lot of people have trouble with those. Sometimes when you import an animation, it'll ask you if you want to turn limits, and then you click yes, and it, the limits aren't all turned off. So here is a way that I do it, and I know that it works every time for me. We just have the Genesis character in the scene. I'm going to expand the whole character. I'm going to select all, select the whole character. If you had different items in your scene, you might want to just select the top core of the character and then go all the way to the bottom and select the whole character. You go to Edit, Figure, Limits, limits off. If I click this pose again, now it goes right in place. I'll do a different character just to show you. Okay, so I've loaded uh, another character here, the sub-dragon. No texture or anything on him. I want to show you a, another instance of this problem. See if you see here, I've clicked on this pose off to the right here and the wings are just not quite right because they have limits on them. Okay, so we want to do the same thing. We, of course, expand all, and then we go to select all, and we go to edit, figure, limits off, and now if we click on this pose again, now it's right. Have a good one.